Hello everybody, thanks for checking out this video. It's been a long time since I've done a voiceover, so I just want to say hey, I hope you guys are all well and able to be safe in these crazy world events that are going on right now. And with that said, let's just jump into this video. So I get a lot of questions on the photos and paintings that I use in my speed builds. And a lot of people think that they're CC. They are not custom content. They are no CC photos and or paintings from the Sims 4 gallery. And they're made in a process where they are not counted as custom content when they're made correctly. This artwork is also used a little bit differently than how you would use CC or mods. You do not put them in a folder. You download them to your library and then they're in your library and you use them from there. And I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to show you where to find this artwork. Also, unlike custom content, when you upload a build to the gallery that has this artwork in it, anybody who downloads the build will get the artwork in the build. They do not have to download anything external. And unlike CC, this artwork can be used by console players as well. So here's how to find it. Open up the gallery and on the left side of the screen you have your content filters. Click the rooms and then click sort by popular now. And as you can see, we already have walls of artwork loading up. And you can just scroll down through here and you can find artwork this way. There is tons and tons of artwork in the Sims 4 gallery from metal panels to wood panels to things like this where you can make your own designer closets. I'm going to place this toddler baby closet by Babewire. You can also save this to your library. I do have move objects on so I can place these paintings freely. Once you've grabbed your paintings off the wall, all you have to do is pick the wall up and sell it. Another way to search for artwork is to select hashtag from the drop down menu and then simply just type in paintings. You can also search by using other keywords like art or artwork or typing photos into the search box. You can also use the same drop box and select EA account ID and then type in the name of the simmer that you know who does artwork. Here are a couple names of the simmers in the gallery who do a variety of different styles of artwork that you guys can check out. Please keep in mind that it is a bit of a process for these simmers to recreate this artwork in the game for you and it is a common courtesy in the gallery to hashtag those simmers that recreated the art so other people know where they can find this art from. So here on the left I have some wood panel paintings by Jewel64. These are quite more costly than the photographs on the right, which are by Mandy K 77. The photographs are 10 simoleons versus the paintings, which can vary in cost, but be quite expensive. These photos by Mandy K are really cool. She made them with in-game objects. That's another really cool way to make no CC artwork. So it seems to be since console has gotten the gallery that they have limited the file size for the upload to 10 megabytes. So you really want to pay attention to the size of the files for the paintings or photos that you are putting in your build because they can be quite large. You can see here that these two paintings alone are one megabyte in size. This is a wall of photos by Mandy K 77 that I had downloaded to my library and I'm now placing on the lot to put in my build. So I'm going to show you that in live mode you can change the photo frames. You can add photo frames if they don't have them and you can also change the color. There's several different colors that you can choose from. So here I'm just going to add these white frames to this. If you want a different color frame just click on the photo again and update the frame and change it to whatever color that you prefer. I have these wood panels in my library. These are from Jewel64. I'm going to place this. If you want to frame this canvas, you can by being in live mode and clicking on the painting and click frame canvas. There's only one choice for the frame. So you can also remove the frame if you don't like it. 
You can create copies of these so you don't have to place like 10 walls if you need like 10 wood panels for something and then you'll find them in your inventory. You can also resize both the paintings and the photos by using whatever keys on your keyboard or on your controller that you use to resize things. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I think I've covered everything that you need to know about gallery artwork. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer that question. You guys take care of yourselves and be safe and I'll see you in the next video.